Righty ho, getting ready to fit the inner uh, gearbox casing. Now that we've re put all the gears and that back in the gearbox housing. Uh, in our case, it should be pretty straightforward because we haven't really dismantled much of the inner uh, gearbox casing. We've still got the original uh, main shaft bearing. We've still got the original roller lay shaft bearing. And we've still got the butterfly quadrant in position. Um, so we, we never dismantled those because I'm sure that bearings, these bearings are fine and then the quadrant looks fine. There's no broken teeth or worn teeth or anything. Um, the only thing we had done was, of course, we had it polished. Woohoo! Uh, a little bit uh, OTT because you're not going to see that much of it because, of course, it's going to be covered by the start motor and that. But, um, you know, hey, I think it'll look, uh, I think it'll look really good. You know, you'll, you'll see some of it. You'll know that it's polished. Um, so we're just going to put, um, it, it, it just goes uh, straight on. The only thing we've got to do is remember to put the thrust washer, uh, the other thrust washer on the end. So there was a thrust washer that we just remembered in time to put in on the uh, back of the gearbox. And then there's a corresponding thrust washer on this end of the gearbox, on this end of the lay shaft. There. And exactly the same as the other one, it fits over the um, it fits over the needle roller bearing, holds that in place, but it sits proud of the of that bearing. And then the only thing we've got to do is index the gears. Um, when we uh, slide the housing on, and all that means is that uh, we have to make sure that this butterfly quadrant is in the right place. Uh, uh, in relation to uh, this uh, cam plate, that's what the quadrant uh, engages with. So we've got the the um, cam plate fully rounded first, and we're going to make sure that the uh, cam plate is basically at its highest position it can be um, um, to engage the gears, so that it gives it full travel to turn it round from from first gear all the way around to fifth gear. So it's just making sure that basically that's near the top. If it can't be at the very top, it's got to be just off top. Okay, uh, we'll come to that uh, when we fit it. Yeah, so uh, this tooth here has got to be in line, just in line with the uh, um, center of that uh, bush. Basically, if we put it in at the very, very top, it won't work. Is I think that's the, that's the, that's and we go down one tooth on the quadrant basically, so uh, we just have to go down very and just one, and that'll be it. But we'll do that. So I'm going to put some well seal on here. I'm going to put some oil on there, stick it on, make sure it doesn't fall off. We put it on, oil the bearings, uh, well seal on here, um, then put the, uh, uh, then we'll put the. Uh, casing on okay okay I've put the uh, studs back on uh, the long studs uh, that hold the uh, inner casing on and I've put well seal on both mating faces and I've put the uh, put a new gasket on so now all we need to do and I've oiled everything up we've got the uh, thrust washer in place there and so we just need to slide these back on this cover back on over the uh, studs and uh, remind ourselves that we have the gearbox in first gear there's the main shaft coming out the lay shaft is just beginning to go into the into its housing there now just we're about an eighth of an inch away now if i push it in uh, without moving it Let's see if I can do it. There, yeah, then, then this look, it's jam solid. It's jam solid, right? Won't move. So we know that's wrong. So we pull it out, and I'm just so it still moves, and we move it till. Let's have a look. The middle of that tooth is just basically just down, so that the teeth can engage. The the earlier, that's that's all it is. There, yeah, and so we should get that rocking sound. Let's have a look. Yeah, 
That's it. It's that tooth because <laughs> they call that the second tooth. They call that a tooth. And then that's the second tooth. So the top of that tooth should line up. There you go. And that's it. So basically it's the first available tooth so that we get maximum travel. But if it's if it's fully down, it, it doesn't engage and it just jams. But that rocking is that, that tells me it's right. What we don't do is move it. If we move it too far down to the next tooth, then there's not enough travel and you won't get fourth or fifth gear. That's the classic not getting fourth or fifth gear. Now I've got, these aren't available anymore, but I've got a little special triumph tool with which I can check uh, that, that we're indexed. So, just, uh, so this tool fits in there and that hole. Okay. Yeah. And this little spigot lines up with that first tooth and that tells me that we're in the right uh, in the right place but basically it's the you know it's the first tooth down if, if it's too high it it locks and if you move it down too far then it will go in but you're already sort of halfway through the travel so that when you change gear it will get to the end before you you know you won't get fourth or fifth gear so that's all it is the indexing just making sure they're in the right place. Done. And then I'm going to put, uh, start just putting a few of the fixing bolts in. So uh, what we've got for the inner casing, we've got a big, a, a large diameter 516 Allen key that goes in there. We've got a large diameter bolt that goes in there. We've got a cross head. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, we've got a cross head that goes in there. It does go in there, get in there. I know you go in there. Don't mess me about. Put that one instead then. They're the same length. And one that goes underneath there. Okay, those are the uh, those are the four uh, fixing. Yeah. Let's have a look, is that the right one? Yeah. Seems to have that much strain on it, but I'm sure it's the right one. Now that one wants to go. We should really have this one there. So. Now the one at the bottom is very slightly longer. That will go in and just have to screw it in. Yeah, and the one at the bottom is just that bit longer. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I just do them up. You you can replace these uh, with uh, hex bolts, but you don't really need to because the gearboxes don't doesn't generally leak, and um, you've got these two studs which are going to be done up tight as well. Okay. Checking that's still free. That's not the right hex. Accidentally using a metric hex, I think. Then Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oops, a daisy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we should have a working gearbox. Yeah. 